Hello, children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well today. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your presence so much. I don't take it for granted. May the Lord bless you. Thank you for your prayers for me. Thank you for your love, your support, your words of encouragement. And to those of you who have been sending in your testimonies, I appreciate you. And I'm so grateful to God for what he is doing in your life. People of God, the Lord is moving in our midst. He's doing great and mighty things. And I pray that every one of you will be partakers of these blessings and breakthroughs in Jesus' name. If this is your first time here, you're welcome. Welcome to the family of God. Welcome to our beautiful community where God is moving and doing wonderful things. I pray that this message will be a blessing to you in Jesus' name. Before I go into this word, which is an exciting word and I'm excited to share with you, I would like us to say a quick prayer. So let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. We have come to your presence today with our heart full of praises, full of adoration, full of thanksgiving for whom you are, for what you've done for us. Thank you for what you've done in the past. Thank you for what you're working on in our lives and in our midst right now. Thank you for what you have planned for us in the future. Lord, we thank you for your goodness, for your mercy, for your faithfulness. We thank you for provisions. We thank you for protection. And the countless ways you show yourself faithful in our lives. The countless ways you come true for us. Lord, we say thank you in Jesus' name. Father, today I ask for forgiveness for any sin we have committed. Committed in word, in thought, in deed. Lord, we ask for mercy. Please cleanse us. Please purify us and make us right before you. Lord, we desire to approach your throne with pure hearts and clean hearts. Help us, Lord. In Jesus' name, Father, prepare us to receive your word today. Open our hearts and minds to hear your voice clearly. Let your word, oh God, that we're about to hear, take root in us and bear fruit in our lives. May it bring transformation. Father, let your word bring direction and hope to every listener in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I ask that you use me as your vessel today to speak your word. Father, speak through me with clarity and precision. Let only your words be spoken and let them accomplish what you have proposed for them to do in the lives of your children. I yield myself completely to you in the name of Jesus. I pray that this word will bring glory to you alone. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. While I was praying today, the Lord gave me a vision and I'm so excited for many of us that this word is for. In this vision, I saw some written words being crossed out. And immediately the Holy Spirit brought to my mind a scripture. Lamentations chapter 3 verse 37. It says, Who is he who speaks and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? As I meditated on this vision and this scripture, the Lord began to reveal to me, that he is canceling and nullifying every word, every plan and decrees that was spoken or written against his children that he did not authorize. There are words, whether spoken by people, by the enemy, or even thoughts in our own minds that have tried to dictate our circumstances. Maybe someone declared failure over your life and said you would not amount to much, or that you never recover from a certain situation. Maybe the enemy has whispered lies, as I sense is doing to so many people in this season, making you believe that things will never change, or that your situation has come to stay, or that your situation is going to be permanent. But God is saying today that he alone has the final say. And he is crossing out every false word, every negative declaration, and every curse that has tried to stand against his purpose for your life. Praise God. The Bible also tells us in Isaiah 54, 17, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. 
And every tongue that rises against us in judgment will shall condemn. God is reminding you today that it does not matter who has spoken against you or what lies or decrees have been written against your destiny. If he did not authorize it, if God did not authorize it, it will not stand. And God does not authorize negative words. Those words are being crossed out and rendered powerless in the name of Jesus. The Lord is also speaking to those who feel bound by the words they've spoken over themselves. You know, sometimes because of frustration or challenges or situation, we confess negative words. Maybe in moments of frustration, doubts, you've declared things like, I'll never get out of this. Things will never change. Or I can't make it. Oh, I can't do it. I think I will never succeed. But God is inviting you today to align your words with his promises. And he's canceling those self-defeating words and giving you a new confession. One that aligns with his truth. He says, speak life. The Lord wants you to speak life, speak hope, speak victory into your life. Your words have power and today God is calling you to declare his word over your life instead. The vision of the words being crossed out also represents the breaking of chains. Some of you have been held back by generational causes, negative cycles or past failures that seem to follow you like a shadow. But God is saying to you today, I am rewriting your story. The Lord is rewriting your story. Just as he crossed out the words that the enemy wrote, he's writing a new script for your life. One that is filled with hope. One that is filled with restoration and victory, blessings, breakthrough in the name of Jesus. The Lord wants you to know that his word is unchangeable and his promises over your life are sure. While others may be speaking against you, or circumstances may want to make you speak negative words. Only the word of the Lord will stand in your life. Only what God has spoken and declared over you will stand. And today the Lord is saying to you that his plans for you are good. And they are not of disaster to give you a future and a hope. This is a good word to declare over your life and to remind yourself whenever the devil whispers lies into you. I was led to some scriptures for this word and I want to encourage you to take some time today to read, to study and meditate on this word as they will bring even more depth to what God is speaking to you today. The first scripture which I've already read but I feel like reading it again is Lamentation chapter 3 verse 37. Who is he? Who speaks and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it. This verse directly confirms the vision of what's being crossed out that I saw. It reminds us that only what God has decreed can come to pass in our lives. Everything else that the enemy has decreed or written is null and void. The second scripture also is Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you, yes, you shall condemn. That is what the Bible says, which means you have the power to cancel every negative word or decree spoken against you. God has given you that power according to his word to condemn it. It is not just God who can cross them out. He has also given you the authority to condemn those words as well. So today I encourage you to use your authority, cancel those negative words. Cross them out with the blood of Jesus. The last scripture is Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. This is a call to action for you and I to be mindful of the words you speak over yourself. Choose to speak life. 
because your words carry the power to shape your reality according to God's promises. This is the word of the Lord for you today. I pray it's a blessing. Thank you, Father, for this timely word and this reminder. Thank you for reminding us that you are the ultimate authority in our lives. Thank you for counseling every first word, every curse, and every lie that has tried to stand against your plans for our lives. Lord, today we'll receive your truth and declare that only your word will stand in our lives. In the name of Jesus, Father. I ask for your forgiveness for any negative words were spoken over ourselves and over others, over our family, over our situations. In the name of Jesus, we repent for agreeing with the lies of the devil instead of standing on your promises. Father, help us to align our words with your truth and to speak life, hope, and victory in every situation. Father, Prepare our heart to fully receive the new story you are writing over our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the reversal, the breakthroughs and the victories that are coming as a result of this divine cancellation that you have done in the spirit. We trust you completely and will surrender every area of our lives to you in Jesus' precious and mighty name we have prayed. Amen. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.